Hey, welcome back to day 12. Today we got another single malt. Hey, welcome back, Whiskey Questers, to another episode of Whiskey Quest here on my advent calendar. On to day 12. Let's see if this one's a little bit better than yesterday's, right? So this one right here is the Glen Livid 14-year-old single malt scotch whiskey. Uh, this one is a space side scotch. So I've been enjoying exploring some space sides this year. That was my goal. And this one's bottled at 40% ABV and it'll cost you around $52. Now this one's aged in both ex bourbon barrels and ex cherry casks. So I've been enjoying those kind of those kind of whiskeys. But one thing I haven't explored is something like this. This one's also finished in ex cognac casks. So a very first for me. Can't wait to dive into this. I'm sure they add coloring to this one. Um, but same as yesterday's. It's got a nice golden caramel kind of color going on. Uh, you know, if they add coloring, I don't get too excited, but here we go on the nose. Oh yeah, already a lot more than yesterday's. I'm getting a lot of grapes. That cognac is really coming through. Yeah, I'm thinking red grapes. Nice chocolate nose going on, some some prunes, some dried prunes actually, to be exact. Not getting much of the uh, bourbon cast here, but we'll see what, maybe it'll come through on the palate. There's definitely some cooked pear kind of kind of smell here. Nice and sweet, so. Oh, all right, let's dig into this. Let's see what we get. Legs on this 40%er coming down a little on the fast side, but let's see what happens. Cheers. Oh yeah. All right. It's definitely a lot thinner than yesterday's, but already del delivering a little bit more getting that chocolatey nutty kind of flavor going on nice light oak coming through as well there's some combination of the both the pear and apple and some raisins some raisins coming through on this but you know what again i'm getting a uh, this is not a super sh not as short as yesterday's thank god uh, this is more like on the short almost to medium you know just is about to get to the medium and then it starts fading you're like oh you know but yeah that's a very interesting nose i like it i like it you don't get a lot of uh like a like strong alcohol flavor it's just nothing but those flavors those sweet flavors coming through Yeah, yeah, I can get behind this one. I'm digging that nutty flavor with the oak. But I will most definitely um, see if I can get this on sale for under 52. Um, I mean, there's better ones, guys. There's better ones. I think uh, Glenfiddich 12 gave me a little bit more uh, than this one does. Even though it's really good, but like I said, I will definitely look for it uh, to go on sale and uh, we'll see. Maybe maybe a whole bottle will give me a different experience. You know how it'll open up over time. So let's see. Let's see if I can get a hold of one of those and review that later. Uh, some honey developing. Yeah, definitely, definitely need more time with a whiskey like this. Let's take one more sip before we call it a night. A lot more spice going on in that one with that chocolate, the raisins. Ah, oh, it's so hard. So hard. Mmm. $52. I like it. I like it. I just don't know if I want to pay $52 for a whole bottle, but 
we'll see. We'll see once I finish this if it changes my mind. But as of right now, I'm thinking I'll just wait for it to go on sale. Hey, everybody. I'll see you guys on day 13 tomorrow. Cheers. Peace.